Good morning, good evening, good day. Mm. Wait and see who hops on before we get started. Good morning, how are you? All right, good morning. Oh, I love it. Two of my favorite, woo, I love it. We have a good morning, happy Monday, everyone. So this is going to serve you and I'm kind of gonna just jump right into it because there's so much going on. There are so many light codes coming in. These are freedom codes to liberate you from programs that no longer serve you, from your past traumas, from all of this energy that has been keeping you stagnant and stuck, okay? So we're really gonna work with this. now. It's funny, yesterday we had a tremendous amount of light and upgrades coming in, okay? So if you haven't checked out my video don't from yesterday, don't do it again today if you're gonna do this one because I don't wanna fry you guys. Pick one or the other and then you can come back to this one. But if you're here, obviously you're gonna do this one today because you're meant to be doing this one. So if you're on this live this morning, you are meant to receive this this morning. So what I want to talk about, sorry if I feel like I'm on speed a little bit this morning, but this, these are messages that need to get delivered before we get started into the sound current. So what you might be experiencing right now is out of the blue, all these memories from your past popping up, like random memories, okay? Like random things that you did 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 20 years ago, the list goes on. And it's very interesting because what's happening is these random memories are coming to the surface because it's clearing out of your cellular system. We're creating a space, right? We're creating space. So we're just purging out stuff that no longer serves. So as you feel that and you're like, that was a random memory, it's just because it's clearing out of your system. Okay, so this is really good because we want to create space. And a lot of you will be getting amazing new bodies this year. That's a message that is coming in. So the more you work with these light codes and light, the more power you have to transform your mind, body, and spirit. But the body is a really big deal. So you're gonna notice that a lot of people might not be as hungry that are working with light because the light is really nourishing them. It's really amazing because the whole, I see the whole muscular system changing of the more people who work with light and anchor these light codes daily and literally using this to your advantage to be in the best physical shape of your life. So that's really amazing too. And we'll talk more when that comes through. All right, so we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna get off my block. I got my singing bowls here. We're working with the own bowl and the high heart again. And so let's just create this space. I invite you to take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out the mouth. Another thing that we are going to be clearing is distortions today. We're going to be de clearing distortions around pornography, molestation, a lot of sexual trauma we're clearing today that is big in the collective right now, all right? So we're clearing distortions around sexual energy just by tuning in to these light codes. And this, remember, doesn't have to be something that you've experienced on, in this earth plane. This is multidimensional healing.
exhale out the mouth. Enakata. Enakata. 
physical vessel, feeling the toes, the fingers, bringing awareness to our breath as our chest rises and falls. Take a moment in silence 
to acclimate these energies. You're so welcome. This is a powerful, I'm gonna get on my block to finish and wrap this up, this message up. This is a powerful, powerful time that we are in. And these practices will help you. They will assist you. It is very important that every day that you are anchoring in the light, breathing, moving your body, even if it's on days of not high intensity exercise, move your body a little bit, go for a walk, do some stretches, take some nice deep breaths, you know, doesn't have to be anything major. Clean your home, that's still coming through really big right now. The energies of your home is so important. And not even just cleaning the clutter, but clearing the energy. So every day, run essential oils in your home. Use Palo Santo. Clear out your space. If you have crystal singing bowls, play them and bless every room in the house. Only the highest vibrations of truth and love and organic light are allowed in my living space. So letting that divine energy flow in your home is so important, especially as we are clearing and releasing so much as we are integrating so much new light. Remember, this is simultaneously happening. We are purging the old, but we're also downloading the new. Considering doing a cleanse one day a week. You could do a juice cleanse, a water cleanse. I use this isogenic stuff that I like that I do one day a week. You could even do two days a week. But the more time you give your body, I mean, I'm sorry, if you create space for your cells to reset and you cleanse, it's really going to support the integration of these new coats coming in. Let's do a blessing card to wrap this up. I think there's something else still coming through. Ena sakare te na kare ke na ko shike te ke sakate ma chakare ke sakare ke kare ka kare kun chakare mi na kani na. May you all be blessed with the eternal sun within you. May you feel the presence of Christ on this day. May you feel the holy presence within you in every moment. Stay centered. Stay balanced in the heart. Anchor the light. You've got this. You came here for this. Okay, beautiful. Send me your beautiful energy. We're going to wrap this up with a blessing card. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth. What is the message that will serve the greatest good today besides the messages and the activations we just received? All right. Let's see what we got. Two cards. You are blessed regardless. This is funny. We got this like twice last week and it, the theme still continues. Every experience enriches us and those around us in some way. Regardless of what we achieve or don't achieve, do or don't do, all is a blessing in one form or another. Nothing is a mistake for all serves a divine purpose. All is blessed. We are blessed regardless. Remember, what we're learning is that we can grow spiritually with crisis or with joy and love, right? So when we listen to our intuition and we follow our intuition and we take steps and take action on what we feel and hear, then we can do it with joy and less struggle. It's when we're turning away from our inner voice and we're not listening and we're not honoring our uniqueness. 
We're not honoring our truth. We're not honoring our relationships. We're not holding high levels of integrity that we create crisis in our life to learn. But in the end, we are blessed regardless because our lessons bring blessings. Okay. Oh, and how perfect is this? A lesson woven in truth. Have the courage to speak your truth and a heavy burden will be lifted. It is best that everyone involved know where they stand. The truth will set both you and others free. This is a blessing for all concerned, but most of all for you, dear one. Okay, guys, if one thing that I can do by coming on here every day is to encourage you to be you and speak your truth. Don't dim your light and share how you feel with others, okay? This is the time for us to embrace our uniqueness and our truth, but also we're healing a lot of relationships. There's a lot of issues coming up in relationships and this isn't just romantic, right? It's in friendships and business partnerships. And a lot of people bottle up how they feel. They don't have the courage to speak how they feel because they feel like they're gonna push the ones that they love and care about away, away and not be receptive, received. My God, can I talk? Um, I can talk and I can talk very well. Um, so it's important right now to share how you feel, but come from a balanced way. Remember, I always invite you to take a sacred pause and say, how would this person's higher self receive this in the best way? How can I communicate with this person to serve them and also let my truth be heard. It's really important because we might have feelings of anger, feelings of shame, feelings of judgment, and we can't spew that onto someone as we tell the truth in a way of like anger. It's like throwing daggers at someone. So it's important that you speak to the ones you care about and love with compassion from a balanced place so they understand your feelings and you can make a change to evolve or let go of relationships. That's coming in. All right, I gotta wrap it up. Got my work uniform on, I gotta get going. Um, have a blessed day and you know, set an intention if you need to review this whole video over from the beginning because it's clearing a lot of distortions but it's also anchoring a lot of these freedom codes in. So much love and so many blessings. Have a great day.